Morning folks, Peter back again. Friday morning, a little bit overcast. They're talking rain soon. We're trying to harness up the uh, planter again. I think we're gonna start linseed. Tinies have been working, so being um, fitted up with some more lubricant, fuel lubricant. So we got Phil's in here trying to hide amongst the gear. Morning, Phil. Good morning. What's the go today? Uh, we're just trying to get going on the clean seed. So they're talking more rain next week, so we're trying to get some in before that, and we'll be back on the dozers, I think. That'll be we'll all be cramming it into about five days, and um, I'm guessing you're not going to be putting it in deep. The seed, mm. no, no, it should be going shallow. <laughs> May even have to re-sow some if it's too too wet, but we've got plenty of seed there, unlike yeah. the canola. No, all right, and it's <clears throat> there's this bloke over here hiding. He's hello, Gary. Hello. This I'm, is I'm supervisor. Now, now, which, how are you related to me? I'm a brother-in-law, unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, so you, Gary's up from one of the capital cities for a, a bit of a break. Well, <laughs> he thinks it's going to be a break. I think we're enjoying having him and I'm, I think he's enjoying being here. So Good to pretend to be a farmer for a week. <laughs> All right, we'll see who else we can find. <clears throat> Apparently I'm supposed to go off and take this truck. It's got a couple of flat tyres. We'll get them repaired and pick up a bit, bit of seed on the way back. I think I'll fit a coffee in there too somewhere. But anyway, we'll see how that works. Here's the boys, they're working hard. Look at this. Phil's escaped. He's back here. And here's Robbo telling stories. No, no, no. Strictly business this morning. Strictly. What's going on, mate? What are we doing? Having a bit of a battle. Having a bit of a battle. We'll so get it. Are you going to explain it? or I'll get Brad to explain it. If you explain it, they probably won't understand. That's right. Because you might use a bit of the Queen's English. No, no, I'm all good. Brad, Brad will take care of it. Morning, Brad. Me. Morning. <laughs> What's happening here, mate? We got a bit of a predicament. Just trying to get the pin out. Yeah, for the... So, the pin or the bush or both? Ah, uh, both. Yeah, so you need one of those carbon arc rods or something, do you? Yeah. And here, <coughs> here's the... Um, the guy who just slept in, yeah. it's, 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 it's now 12 and a half minutes past 8, 8 o'clock starting time. One's a holiday camp, Brad. And she's a holiday camp, Brad reckons. I think he's been doing some home renovations. Plus he's got three little kids that really give him heaps. Morning, Matt. Tell them why you're so late this morning. House renovations. House rent, oh, that's what I told them. So at least we got the same story. What do you know of the plan today? Uh, I think we're going to try to sow some linseed and then we've got everything else that we've got to finish off. So we've got dozer work going on. I think we just talked bri briefly to Phil. Um, I've got Josiah and Ian here. I better dive bomb them, see what they're up to. Yeah, well, I think the only one not here is Johnny, eh? Johnny's not here, but he will be soon, I guess, will he? I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. Now, What's the go, brother? What are you up to today? Oh. Hey, listen, just pull your tummy. down a bonnet. Pull your tummy in. It looks a bit better when you're on camera. That's it. Pull, pull, pull it in. That's, that's better. That's why I keep the camera away from me. <laughs> no, we're just putting this on the over the bonnet. I got a half a day's work, and I was going to bring the machine home to fix it because the bonnet was flipping up. But oh, I thought, we'll, oh, no, it's going to we'll, be... You'll tie it down. Yep, tie it down until we get the, till the finish of the job. Till the rain comes. Yep. All right. Well, happy days. Good on you. <clears throat> and here's Josiah. Now Josiah's been with us for 14 months. He came from Brisbane. Look this way, mate. We want to see your pretty face. You look like a rabbit looking out of a roly poly like that, mate. So he came from Brisbane. You, you've had a birthday since you've been with us, haven't you? Yeah, just just, just the way. So you're 19 now, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. And uh, you've been here 14 months, so <clears throat> he's been a real good asset to our business. Um, there's the three boys, there's Phil, Matt, 
and Brad, or Brad's the oldest, Phil and then Matt, um, they're the immediate family. And then Josiah came to us, part of the family now. And then Robbo, well, he came, well, he came a little while ago. We're still getting used to him. And then we got Johnny. He arrived uh, just a, a month or two ago before harvest. So, And he's a, a mechanic. Brad's the automotive reconditioner. Phil's the el electrician. And Matt's the auto electrician. So what are we doing here, mate? We're going to push out a bearing? So what we're trying to do push the edge off so we can then just pull the bearing out. Oh yeah. It's supposed to just slide out. So we're just gonna try and push the edge out. And that's off the feeder house, isn't it? Off yeah. feeder one. That's off the back of the feeder house. We got some new gears for that didn't we? I'll go and have a look at them. <coughs> well this is part of it. That's part of the feed roller. Which comes out of here. Looks like they've done it. Looks like there's been a bit of welding going on here. Few repairs, cracks. Anyway, I think that's a brief wrap up. So we'll see what happens today, folks. Righto, guys. So we're just getting ourselves sorted out after the morning. We're getting there. We're slowly working our way through what, what's got to be done. Um, we did calibrate the air cart for linseed. Um, so yeah, that is all done, ready to go. I'm currently on the sprayer, just getting that ready, taking it to the other main farm where the linseed is being planted. And what we're doing with this is we're putting down that uh, residual pre-emergent spray so that we can, yeah, just get a little bit better control over some of the weeds. And here we have the first strip of linseed that's being sown. I think currently Phil is on that, I believe. And once I finish this load, I'm about halfway through another 60 hectares to do and then I'll be going on the, the planter for a little bit and uh, yeah just see where we all end up so this is the paddock that had the chickpeas in last year there was quite a bit of weather damaged chickpeas here surprisingly uh, it was actually one of our better yields overall for chickpeas so yeah just the variety it was and it must have been able to handle wet weather a bit better so um, yeah, we had a good chickpea crop in here because chickpeas is um, nitrogen fixing, which means it, it puts nitrogen into the soil. We are not hitting it as hard with the starter fertilizer as we usually would. But looks like he's um, looks like he's hooking in there. I'm doing about 16 k's, so he must be doing eight or nine or ten maybe. But um, yeah, we did have 10 mil of rain or so. Um, yeah, so it's just probably still a little bit sticky in some spots um, on the surface, but yeah, with a bit of wind and that, it should dry off pretty quick, I think. See, there's a bit of mud being flicked up, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's blocking anything up, so looks good. Bit of a different view now. So we're cruise along here. Uh, we're doing about 10 k's. Um, so generally speaking, you don't really plant with a machine like this. Plant much faster than that uh, because, as you can probably see there, when the tine goes through, it flicks a lot of dirt out, um, and you do want a little bit of that dirt to go back in. Um, to uh, yeah, to cover the seeds. So if you're going too fast, you just end up throwing the dirt too far. So it seems to be going all right. Um, yeah, we've got a little bit different soil types here. So it's a little bit lighter soil here, which is working really well. Um, but just because there's that probably maybe an inch of moisture on top from the rain, it is just, uh, yeah, causing a little bit of dramas in the thicker soil because it's just sticking to the 
press wheels and things like that. So, uh, but anyway, it'll come to us. It'll get it'll get better as it dries out. Yeah guys, we're back on the Rogator. Um, we've just trained up Josiah on the planter, so he's he's learning the ropes there, he's doing a good job. And then I'm just gonna get this load of spray out and then he's gonna go into the night a little bit and um, I think then I'll be doing a full day's planting tomorrow. So we'll see how we all go. Hey guys, it's a brisk one this morning. It's about four degrees. We're gonna get into the sewing again, but we do have a slight hiccup. The um, yeah, the battery in the cat is kaput. So, or the battery's one of them at least. So I can't get it started, and the little jump pack I've got isn't big enough to start it. And the set of jump leads that we should have down here aren't down here. So I guess that's just the typical, typical thing. Um, but yeah, it's always the way when a cold period of time comes through, all the batteries seem to die. So we'll have to get onto that and get some new batteries today. But uh, anyway, we'll just try to get it started for the minute and we'll get into it. So while I wait, I'm just going to have a bit of an inspection. Uh, make sure everything's where it should be. Make sure no points are worn out too much. Looking pretty good. So I'll have to um, fill up the bins before we get going. Because we're not going out at a really high um, fertiliser rate, the starter we call it, um, we are actually getting, I think, oh, 80 or 90 hectares of load uh, out of the starter. And I think we're only getting about... 55 hectares out of the linseed the first little bit we did we had a, a ton of seed that's a new variety and that's why we planted just in that section there um yeah planted all that and then we went using back to our old seed which has uh, was a little bit lighter and had a little bit more fluff and rubbish in it so it makes it all lighter so we've actually bumped up the rate a little bit on that to 35 kilos a hectare and basically that just makes it so it, it's putting more out to make up for the lighter lighter seed and the extra bits of rubbish that are in there that obviously are not seed, so it won't grow. Yeah, I think we're all looking pretty pretty good here. Once we get the tractor going, which there's a set of jump leads coming down soon, hopefully, we'll um, yeah fire it up. We've got to fill the bins, like I said, and then we'll run a bit of grain and starter out and uh, just check that it's coming out of each each shoot now the grand plan or what ideally probably by next sowing season uh, hopefully we can get some sort of a, a blockage monitoring um, system on this and that that'll all incorporate into the screen that the, the new system that we've we've got up there so that should make that a bit easier we haven't really had much of an issue with blockages at all with this machine actually but it is just peace of mind because it is not only a little bit embarrassing, but it is frustrating when you have a nice big airstrip. We got the Challenger going. Just in the old uh, comma here, which as you can see by the rattling steering wheel is struggling in the cold. But uh, yeah, we're just about to fill her up and get into it. 
She's warming up. It almost sounds like someone's dropped a big cam in this. She's a bit lumpy. So I've got Josiah here. Where's your jumper? Don't need one. So he went to about midnight last night, I think. Yeah. Did a good job. And um, yeah, there's no big misses on the end, so that's the main thing. Righto, so we're reasonably under control over there. I'll um, hop on this because we've only got enough in the back of the planter um, before we go into stuff we haven't sprayed yet. So I better get started on this so the planter doesn't have to pull up. Nearly forgot. Just don't tell anyone. Yep, it's got a little. <sighs> ah, it's good when everything's working. We're both in the paddock now. A little bit of mucking around this morning, but that's usually how it is. Still doing a good job, it looks. It's always a bit more fun when there's a couple of people in the paddock working together. Don't feel so lonely. I don't know, while I'm relatively free, trying to get a few things organised, I thought I might just top up the seed truck here um, just so I don't have to stop sowing later this afternoon to fill this up just to make sure we've got enough so at this stage I think Josiah's going to hop off the planter and he might be going back to the lease block to uh, help pull out some star pickets down there so uh, yeah just trying to get everything organised ready to go so I can put in a late one today Well guys, uh, it's a lovely evening, um, very, very pretty colours, the camera never does it quite justice, but we've got about 50 hectares left um, of about 200, well, nearly 250 hectare uh, paddock, so we're on the home stretch. Um, I'll probably just come in to fill, it, fill up in maybe, oh, maybe nearly an hour, then I should be able to finish the paddock with that load. Um, might be looking at maybe 11 o'clock tonight um, we'll get it finished um, but hopefully it's uneventful if it's not uneventful I'll probably see you in a little bit we'll see what tomorrow brings we may get started on wheat or barley on the other side of this um, this block here so we'll just see how it all goes hey yeah, guys that'll probably be it for this video so just make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next one